Welcome to Enterprise Services Client Briefing Center. Earlier when you came on stage, we yep. were playing the Jaws music because we were talking about people getting worried about what's coming. Absolutely. Ransomware, people being held to, you know, to all sorts of promises and, and indeed extorted from. Yep. Yep. So tell us more a bit about that and, and, and how we can be safe and secure that we're not going to be victims of that. And I think that Jaws example is a really interesting one. So uh, it's about 40 years ago, Spielberg's film captured, I think, the essence of how it feels to be a chief exec or a CIO at the moment of a cyber attack. The moment where people are playing in the, in the water and the, the shark attacks, there's people running into the water screaming, there's people running out of the water screaming, there's absolute chaos. And then there's one guy or, or, or girl sitting on the beach knowing it, the camera zooms in, knowing it's up to them to try and fix this. And I think people often fixate around the breach as the major part of cybersecurity. I think there's a, a huge array of other things happening which are causing real disruption in how we protect and enable our information assets. So when people are taking, embarking rather, on that journey of yeah. digital transformation, security's got to be massive for them and they've got to think about the disruption and the weak points yeah. that they have, not just the breaches Absolutely. that may happen. Often that's human beings, isn't it, at the end of emails? Absolutely, absolutely. And, and I, I think there are three huge waves of change occurring. And there's a, there's a huge like, dynamic and relentless adversary who are trying to steal and disrupt our business and steal value and data. There's a wave of change around digital transformation. We've talked about that a lot. But any change introduces risk. And then there's a huge wave around regulation and what privacy means and how that's enabled. And all of these waves are coming together in 2017. And at the heart of that whole piece, I think, is identity. And identity is who we are, it's what makes it personal to us. Managing identity, managing privacy, protecting our healthcare records, our financial records, our personnel records. And indeed, who owns our data? And who owns the data. And, and these will become security questions, digital transformation questions, and also ethical questions for boards. And I think that is where you know, we focused a lot on the technology controls. We haven't focused around the, the people-centric part of security enough. We certainly haven't thought about what it means to be a board member or a supervisory board member when you're thinking about true digital risk. So we've got a lot of uh, people here who are senior business leaders, a lot yeah. of them boardroom members. They're listening to you, they're hearing the fear, they're scared. What can they do about it? And it, it's, a, it's a question that hasn't really been addressed adequately, or we don't believe. And we've, we've taken a, quite an interesting step. We're very proud to be working with the World Economic Forum and have done for several years to build a body of, a body of work that we call advancing cyber resilience. And within that resilience word, there's an important distinction to make. There's a distinction that says it's not about waiting for attack. It's about having cyber resilience, the ability to withstand constant change and constant attacks. And we've built two cornerstones within this work that will be presented at, at Davos in Switzerland this year to, to the, the world's leaders. One cornerstone is that cybersecurity is a leadership issue. The other cornerstone is that it must be built into your business strategy because so without is, that... This is structural. Structurally fundamental yeah. to the future of your business. And to enable us to think about how we chart that course, how we start to you know, turn the tide a little bit, is we've developed 10 board level principles that need to be thought through. We've developed risk frameworks by industry to allow you to orientate yourself as a board member to the challenges facing your, your organization. And we think that's a, it's gonna be a huge step both in awareness and education, but also to help people understand the cyber risks facing their organization. If I think about next year, briefly, if I, if I think about the big disruptive predictions I have for cybersecurity next year, there's sort of five big ones, and we'll run them really quickly. There's a talent war between black and white, between the cyber protectors and the cyber criminals. There's a huge scale of attack that is increasing massively. We've seen that in the last couple of years. We'll continue to see our ability to defend against huge globally scaled attacks that are coordinated using Internet of Things devices, CCTV cameras. There's a huge safety issue. We're no longer talking about just digital assets and the digital world we inhabit. And our, and, our, and our retail records, but safety in healthcare, in automotive, in internet-enabled devices, in power production, and all of these things. 
So safety, the, the risk to human life, not just our digital assets, becomes really, really important. So I think the example, if I may interrupt you, yeah. that you gave earlier on, which was particularly startling, was that uh, the technology behind, say, for example, the brakes on your car could be interfered with, uh, as well as in, you know, fiddling in help people's health records as yeah. well, perhaps turning off heart machines, heart monitors, yeah. and so on. Those are the implica those are the real world implications yeah. that you're worried about. Absolutely, and that's what the World Economic Forum describe as this fourth industrial revolution. It's where cyber physical systems come together, mm. and if you exert a, a, a malicious effect on that, then you start to impact people's lives very, you know, very directly and personally. And I think we've seen two other massive trends in the back end of 2016, which will be even more important than 17. We've seen a huge politicization, so politics and political manipulation of data breach and data disclosure. We've seen that in certain elections recently in North oh, America. Yes. We've seen that around the Olympics. We've seen that in certain sorts of different leaks. We'll continue to see data disclosure being used for political means. And I think we've seen a, a huge rise in old school extortion. You know, cyber criminals using tools like ransomware to extort value from us, from individuals, from enterprises and governments. And that can disrupt a hospital's operations just as much as a sophisticated attack. So, you know, there's a talent war out there. There's a huge scale of attacks. There's phenomenal changes in the environment that we're facing. Um, but I think we have some toolkits. We have some principles to use. I mean, there's, there's 5,000 security professionals in Hewlett Packard Enterprise Services. We've got a global network of 10 SOCs, and a, we see 100 billion events every month. We really understand what's happening, and I think you know, that enables you to start to think about how we turn the tide on some of these scary, scary predictions. So are you all scared now? I mean, has he frightened you all to death? I yeah, hope so. Okay. Uh, so if everybody's scared, can they also be confident would be my last question, Andre. So I think the word scared is, is emotive. I think we should be concerned, and we should take a great deal of time and effort thinking about these problems. We don't need to be scared because these are not faceless monsters that hide under our, under our beds at night. There are things we understand, we track, we understand adversaries, we understand the risks facing them. We've got some great capabilities to help people work, walk through those. But I think without a, a, healthy, a healthy dose of fear, a healthy dose of caution, you know, we won't walk blindly into a digital world that we don't understand. So. Fear, fear mixed with a little bit of preparation, I think, is the recipe. I think the message there is be afraid, be very afraid. Andre Kavalich, thank you very much thank indeed. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.